hi friends welcome back to laravel 8 tutorials so last day we have discussed about laravel files and folders now i am going to discuss laravel routes so this is our files and folders and in the routes folder we can see the api.php console.php channel.php and web.php so everyone has a different different features and different different purpose so for normal routes we will create in web.php and for api we will create in api.php by default we can see api.php they are using api middleware in laravel there is a strong routing functionality and it's very easy to use so just for example i am running this program with php artisan serve and here is my project is running and i am going to create one link such as suppose in user so i want to create a link that is the main our main url and after that user so if we click on user we will get some output so how we can create this link so in the web.php we can create a link very easily that is route and we need to use the method name and after that we will provide slash users and after that we will use the function and after that <coughs> we will use return hi this is users so the users links is created and if we use the user link then we can get the output hi this is users so it is very simple and if we write the same thing suppose i am creating the user the same routes in the api.php we can get this that is if i use slash users we will get this through api.php so for api i am using the postman so here is my link is that is the exactly same what we have using but we will get in api so my url will be 127.0.0.1800 after that api slash user so if we run this we will get this output so here i can see the high this is users so this is the basic example of routes now i am trying to pass one parameter to this routes so to pass the parameter we need to write another things that is inside the curly bracket suppose i am providing the name parameter that is i am using the name so we need to pass this name to the function and we can use this as hi this is dollar name so if we pass this so we will get these things so in the same url i am providing suppose user that is learning points so if you run this then we can see hi this is learning points that means the value i am passing it is showing the sensor so i am changing the variable that is laravel so if you run this so i can see the hi this is laravel so now if we not pass this and i am running the user then what happened so we can see there is error so there is error that is not found that means this url is not found in our routes so how to solve this so basically we are creating this is the required parameter means we have to send this but if i want to make it optional we can use the question mark here and we can assign a value that is null 
so if we not pass this so here we can see uh, i am not get, passing any value so just the output is so the so just the output is high this is because i am providing no value so if we pass one value so if i pass the learning points so we can see hi this is learning points by default we can set one value so if we not pass any value we will set here we can set here that is laravel so if we not pass this if we not pass anything then we will get the default name value that is i am providing the laravel this will print and if we pass anything that is tutorial so this time i am providing some value so this value will get the output so this is the optional parameter of router so we can understand how to create required parameter and how to make optional parameter in this way we can create another things that is suppose i am going to provide another parameter that is id same way we can use this is optional parameter and i am using dollar id here and providing suppose null means if we not provide any value so it will provide the null so here i am returning my id is dollar id and after the space and hi this is name and my name is the dollar name so if we run this we can use so here my parameter optional id and name so i am providing for id i am providing suppose 10 and i am providing name that is laravel so if you run this so first parameter in id i am providing 10 so if you run this so here my output is my id is 10 and my name is laravel so now i will try to use some other things that is expression constraints so we can use expression constraints in laravel so we can constrain the format of our parameter through routes using where method we can do this this method accepts for name of the parameter and regular expression for that parameter so here i am providing the dollar id and the name suppose i am removing this for now and i am going to so with the name <clears throat> so here i am going to provide in the name I, I will accept only a to z value maybe upper or lower case so how we will do this so using the where clause we can do this easily so here we can use the where method and inside the where method we can pass the name of the argument that that should be exactly same like name and this is the name so i am passing the name parameter with the third bracket and after that we can initialize the expression for that so my expression is a to z and a capital to capital z and a to small z here in the name variable only capital a to z and small a to z will accept so if you run this that is for the name variable if i am provide suppose one two three four that time laravel will not get any routes here it is showing the page not found so if the same parameter if you write that is some text suppose tutorial so that is accepted so my name is tutorial so you can see this in the same way if we write here 0 to 9 that means 
the name will accept only number system in this way we can do this now another things laravel support to set the global constraint section so if i set the name and this expression globally so in all case whenever the name variable will get and it will accept it will follows these rules so how we can do this in app we have providers and inside the providers we have route service provider so inside the boot function we can provide our global constant to provide global constant we need to use the route that is after that pattern using the pattern variable we can say this so I am providing just just simply copy just simply copy and paste these things and I am removing these things so this will work the same as like previous so if we run this we can see if we use the same things and request another time I will get the same output that is tutorial but if I use one two three some things numeric and that will not found that means the route is not found because my route is defined as some pattern that is our variable should be in later another thing we can set route group in a laravel that is if we need to register a single route to serve as multiple type of request it's multiple type of HTTP, http request we can use the match route that is i am providing suppose route and using match suppose i am going to add so in the first record we need to write and i am providing the gate method i am providing the post method and i am using our match case so my URI, so i am taking the my url is match test so it will test the match and after that my function and we will use this <clears throat> so function open and close it <clears throat> so here we can write the return my method is my method is suppose I'm I am going to print the method name that is request and the name of the method is method function we can use and here the method is the here the request variable is new and we can pass the request parameter with the dollar request function so here i am taking my request in the dollar req function so if we run this so i am providing the gate method that is my url is math match test so here i am providing the match test and i am not giving any optional parameter so i am providing the first in gate and after that we will provide the post so if we using the gate method we can get the my method is get and if we change the post method that is my method is post that means whenever the HTTP method is matches then this will work that is the match function using the match method we can use this another things we have that is any method means any kind of HTTP request that will response that is any we can use the any and we can use the same things I am copying just I, I, I just copy it and paste with the any function and I, I know I don't need to use this so 
match test suppose i am providing the match test any so so here my requested method is dollar method same kind of thing so if you run this so suppose i am running this url that is match test any uh, i am sending with the post method so my request method is post if we get this so my request method is get and if we put so that will output as put if we delete that that will delete if we patch that will patch that means the any functions if we use the any method that will work for any std type of request so that's all about laravel routes we can use as per our request we can use as per our requirement so please comment in our comment section if you have any queries please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next day i will discuss about laravel controllers thanks for watching